Hey everyone, this is a beginner's lesson for learning about medical terminology for surgery. So we're going to look at different prefixes and suffixes that relate to surgery and other surgical processes. So to begin, we're going to specifically start looking at surgical processes. The suffix ectomy means excision or removal. So you can think of ectomy, excision. Splenectomy is a word that means removal of the spleen. Another suffix, otomy, means incision or cutting. So you can think of tracheotomy for this word. The next one is the suffix sect. So this means to cut. So you can think of dissect. Another suffix that we use often is ostomy. So ostomy really means to make a hole. So you can think of ileostomy, to make a hole in the ileum. The prefix stome is related to ostomy. Stome means artificial opening or hole. So a stoma is generally referred to as an artificial hole that's made. And the suffix plasty means surgical repair. So you can think of tympanoplasty, surgical repair of the tympanic membranes. Other surgical processes include the suffix pexy, which means fixation. So you can think of orchiopexy. The suffix raphi or raphi means suturing. So you can think of enterorafi, suturing of the intestines. The suffix desis means surgical union. So you can think of fasciodesis, a surgical union of the fascia. Another suffix is clysis. So clysis means irrigation or washing, proctoclysis, those types of words. And another commonly used suffix includes centesis. So Centesis means a removal of fluid or aspiration. You can think of arthrocentesis or pericardiocentesis, those types of words. The suffix tripsy means crushing or to crush something. The suffix puncture really means puncture. So you can think of words like acupuncture. And the prefixes per and dia mean going through or going through something else. So you can think of percutaneous, going through the skin, or dialysis, those types of words. So to continue, the suffix opsy means examination or inspection. So you think of words like autopsy or biopsy. The suffix metry means to measure. So the next one is the suffix scopy, which means to view. So you can think of, for viewing, you can think of an ultrasound. Uh, you can think of words like endoscopy when you think of this. The suffix graph or graphy means the process of recording. So graph really means the recording itself. Graphy means the process of recording. And similarly, the suffix gram also means recording, so you can think of electrocardiogram. Now we'll move on to looking at different surgical instruments and other diagnostic uh, instruments and evaluations. So the first one we're going to look at is the prefix echo, sono, and phono. These all mean or denote sound, so you can think of echocardiogram. The next one is electro. Electro means pertaining to electrical charge. So again, electrocardiogram is another word we can think of for this. A scope itself means an instrument for viewing. So scopy was to view. A scope is an instrument for viewing. And we talked about otomies, but a tome, so the prefix, or the suffix, sorry, the suffix tome, means an instrument for incision. And the suffix meter means an instrument to measure. So you can think of thermometer for this word. 
And we're also going to talk about tissue grafts and other types of grafting surgeries. But first we're going to look at the descriptors for different types of grafts. So they all relate to either the graft coming from the patient themselves, a different person, or a different species. So they're all denoted by different prefixes. Self is denoted by the prefix auto. So you may think of autograft. A, a graft from a different person, which is, who is still human but a different person, would be an allograft. And if you get a tissue graft from a different species, this is xeno. This is denoted by the prefix xeno. So again, these can all be combined with the suffix graft. Autograft is a uh, graft from the same person. Allograft is from a different person, but the, but the same species. And xenograft is a tissue graft from a different species. And because this doesn't quite fit with other lessons, I added this here. Chemotherapy. Chemo means chemical and therapy means treatment. So these are also good to know in the context of surgery, um, specifically oncology surgery. So it's good to know what chemotherapy, the word chemotherapy actually means. All right, so now that we've learned all of those prefixes and suffixes, let's put them to practice. So looking at the first word, colostomy, what does this mean? So if we were to break colostomy down, col or colo means or denotes the colon or large intestine. And ostomy, we learn in this lesson, means to make a hole. So colostomy really means to make a hole in the colon. The next word we're going to look at is lithotripsy. So if we break that down, litho, litho means stone or calculi. And tripsy, we learned from this lesson, means crushing. So lithotripsy is a process of crushing a stone or crushing a calculi. You can use this for renal calculi, and it's often done by sound waves. Another practice word is electrocardiogram. So if we break that down, electro, the prefix electro means pertaining to electrical charge. Cardio is easier, means heart, and gram means recording. So electrocardiogram means a recording of the electricity in the heart. So the next practice problem is thoracentesis. So if we break that down, thora means the thorax or the chest wall. And centesis, as we learned in this lesson, means a removal of fluid or aspiration. So thoracentesis means a removal or aspiration of fluid from the thorax or the chest wall. The next practice problem is arthrodesis. So arthro means joint, and desis means surgical union or surgical fixation. So arthrodesis is a surgical union of a joint. The next one is hypodermoclysis. Hypodermoclysis. So if we break that down, hypo means under or below, derm or dermo, so you can think of dermatitis, derm means the skin, and clysis, we learned from this lesson, means irrigation or washing. So hypodermoclysis means an irrigation or washing under the skin. The next practice problem is nephropexy. Nephropexy. So nephro, nephro means kidney. So you can think of nephrology. Pexy, we learn from this lesson, means surgical fixation. So nephropexy means a surgical fixation of a kidney. The next word is gastrorhaphy. Gastrorhaphy. So if we break that down, gastro. Gastro means stomach. Raphi means suturing. So gastrorhaphy means a suturing of the stomach. And the last word is optometry. So again, we break that down, opto. Opto means eye or relating to the eyes. And metry means to measure. So really optometry, the word itself means to measure the eyes, but really it's a practice or profession of examining the eyes. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this lesson helpful. This was a medical terminology, the basics lesson for surgery and related terms. If you did find this lesson helpful, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Also, please check out my other medical terminology lessons as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.